Hey, everybody. Um, <clears throat> still not entirely sure what I'm doing here, but um, this is a live stream, which uh, there's nobody who is going to see this live. I'm basically doing it to upload it. Anyway, welcome to my second attempt to make sense of all this through poetry. Um, and I had every intention of going back through <clears throat> some poems that I really enjoy that I came across years and years ago, but sometimes fate drops something in your inbox. And uh, this morning it was that poem. So um, I know a lot of you know that I work for a children's hospital. Um, I am by no means a frontline healthcare worker. So, you know, don't wave your flags at me quite yet. Um, I'm to work in diversity and inclusion, which means I've been working from home for a couple weeks now, um, which has led to especially working in healthcare, but not being a frontline worker it means I felt all of this in the abstract, like so many of us have. And um, it's taken really intentional steps to find that balance of keeping myself healthy and also making sure that I'm staying engaged. And um, that's usually through very, very small human interactions and um, finding gratitude where I can find it. So um, today's poem really hit home for me um, because not only do I work for a children's hospital, but my kid, when he was born, had enough trouble that he needed to spend some time in a NICU um, actually at the children's hospital where I now work um, and the just surreal struggles of going through those first uh, couple weeks of his life as somebody who was visiting in and out of a children's hospital um, anyway today's poem speaks to that so without further ado this is Ode to the Hotel Near the Children's Hospital by Kevin Young. Praise the restless beds. Praise the beds that do not adjust, that won't lift the head to feed or lower for shots or blood or raise to watch the tinny TV. Praise the hotel TV that won't quit its murmur and holler. Praise the room service that doesn't exist, just the slow delivery to the front desk of cooling pizzas and brown bags leaky, greasy, and clear. Praise the vending machines, praise the change, praise the hot water and the heat or the loud cool that helps the helpless sleep. Praise the front desk who knows to wake room 120 when the hospital rings. Praise the silent phone, praise the dark drawn by thick daytime curtains after long nights of waiting awake. Praise the waiting and then praise the nothing that's better than bad news. Praise the wait at 6 a.m. Praise the sleeping in. Praise the card hung on the door like a whisper, lips pressed silent. Praise the stranger's hands that change the sweat of sheets. Praise the checking out. Praise the going home to beds unmade for days. Beds that won't resurrect or rise, that lie there like a child should, sleeping to bless, praise this mess that can be left. So continued uh, peace and to all of us and may we find a moment of gratitude until we see each other again.